Hi my angels and good morning. Today I'm doing a weekend get ready with me. But you guys on Twitter wanted to see this video so here I am today. I'm gonna go do my skincare. I've done most of it in the shower but um, I'm gonna show you guys my skincare. I'm gonna do my hair and gonna do my like weekend face makeup which is really simple. So if you would like to get ready with me on a typical Saturday or weekend then please keep watching. I've already washed my hair. In case you're wondering, I washed my hair with this shampoo and conditioner. I'll leave the name and everything in the info box below. I'm gonna brush my teeth and sort the rest of my skincare out. I have been breaking out. I don't know what it is, but I feel like I need to really sort my skin out. Um, and also, I cleansed my skin using the Tatcha Camellia Oil, which is, I think, my favorite like high-end cleansing oil. And now, I'm gonna brush my teeth before I do anything because I hate talking when I haven't brushed my teeth. Because my skin's already cleansed, I'm gonna go straight in with my toner. This is my Pixi toner. I'm gonna put this all over my face. And for eye cream, I'm gonna be using my favorite eye cream that I've been using for years and years and years, which is the Origins Ginseng Eye Cream. Because my skin has been troubling me recently, um, I actually ordered these two things from The Ordinary. This one's the Lactic Acid and this one is the Advanced Retinoid. And it's really supposed to help your skin clear up. But when you've used these at night, you have to, have to, have to use an SPF in the morning. So I'm gonna make sure that I'm SPFing my face up and I'm gonna use this Kiehl's Super Fluid and it's an SPF of 50. I was gonna leave my skincare at that, but I feel like, cause I'm gonna do my hair next, I wanna put a spot treatment on my spots. So I'm using the Kate Somerville Eradicate. And this has like a pink solution at the bottom and you have to dunk a Q-tip like all the way in and then all the way out and then pop that onto your spots. Now it's time to do the hair. Oh, <laughs> in case you're wondering, this like hair towel is from Primark. Give my hair a quick brush through. Am I the only one who has this much hair falling out of their brush? Like this is not normal. I'm really bad when it comes to putting heat protection in my hair, but I am gonna use them today. This is the Got To Be Guardian Angel, and it is the 220 degrees heat protection, and it's for blow drying and flat ironing, which I'm gonna be doing both of those. So I'm gonna spray some of this onto my hair. And then the hair dryer I'm going to use is this Babyliss Pro and it's the Italia Brava Stylist Tool and it's like one of the fastest hair dryers I've ever 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 used and it takes me about seven to eight minutes to dry my whole head of hair. That's why I love it because it's super super fast and it makes my hair process just be like done quicker because I've got so much hair that I just want to not do anything to it but this actually gets the job done quite quickly. <laughs> is as dry as it's gonna get but we're not gonna leave it like this because it does look a little bit crazy look how long it is like it is so insanely long but now i'm gonna switch into filming in my filming room with my filming camera um so yeah let's go in there and then we can sort our hair out and do my makeup as well so i've just straightened my hair using my favorite steam pod it's like the only thing i use or have been using for like the past six months to straighten my hair especially when i'm doing like a full head of straightening hair. If I do just want to touch bits up, then I just use my GHDs, but generally I don't need to, and this is what I'm left with. It's like really nice and silky, but really, really straight as well. I can straighten my whole head of hair within like 12 to 13 minutes, which for me is super, super, super fast, considering my hair's quite thick and long. Um, So I love it. And if any of you have like curly, frizzy, Afro-Caribbean hair, then I would highly recommend it because it has changed my whole hair straightening regime. It makes it just so Easy. But as a finishing product in my hair, I generally just use like a hair oil. But I recently got the Way Rose Hair and Body Oil, so I'm gonna use some of that. I'm gonna put about two, three, four squirts of it on my hand and just start running it through the mid lengths and ends of my hair. Oh my God, this smells incredible. I always like to make sure I get like the front sections because I like them to be quite like sleek and straight. And then what I like to do is whatever's left on my hands, I just kind of do this to get any kind of flyaways down and just to kind of smoothen that up without putting too much product 
into it and anything left over I can just put on my arms. I'm just gonna get my hair out of my face. I'm gonna take this spot stuff off with a little bit of micellar water. So the SPF that I've got in front of me is my Skin Defense. I love this because it's non-greasy. It's from The Body Shop and it basically just feels like moisturizer. It doesn't feel like an SPF because some of them have that kind of thickness to it where this is really, really light. I actually love taking this on holiday with me because it's really travel friendly and it's tiny and it fits in your beach bag as well as like your toiletries bag. So because of these uh, friends on my face, I actually saw this Jouer anti-blemish primer. So I'm gonna put some of that onto my face and hopefully this will help with the breakouts because in here you have a salicylic acne treatment and salicylic acid is really good for um, any kind of breakouts you have. So hopefully this will help like underneath my makeup still heal them. Generally when I'm getting ready on the weekends, I don't have my beauty blenders at hand. So I am just gonna use brushes today, but for foundation, I'm gonna use my NYX Total Control Foundation. This one is in the shade 11 and this one's in the shade 10. And I find that these mixed two together give me a really nice match. So I'm gonna do a couple of drops of these on my cheeks, two on my forehead like that, and then I'm gonna put the lighter one, which is number 10, and I'm gonna put that in between, like this. Blend it all the way, this is actually a NYX brush. This will blend it out really nicely, because you guys know how much I love my beauty blenders. But on the weekends, when I just want like a quick face, I just use whatever brushes I have at hand. And this is literally dribbling into my eyebrow, so we'll <laughs> get to that really quickly. I really like this foundation because it's really like lightweight. It doesn't feel heavy on the skin and it still has that coverage there rather than it just kind of blending out into nothing. I am gonna have to go over my eyebrows because I've got so much foundation in them. I know a lot of you guys still don't like it that I put foundation all over my face but not on my eyelids but every time I put a foundation on my eyelids I get creasing and I hate creasing on the eyelids so I just leave them as it is. And then people ask me what eyeshadow I'm wearing and I'm like, well, it's just my natural eyelids. So I quite like that they give me that fake eyeshadow look. I'm gonna give these two breakouts a little bit of coverage using Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Medium. And I'm gonna leave it on there for a bit for it to like set and dry a little bit because this will give it even more coverage. And while that's happening, I'm gonna put some concealer on. I'm gonna use my NARS Creamy Concealer and I'm just gonna pop that on underneath my eyes. A Little bit on my forehead, down the bridge of my nose. I'm also gonna take it up very slightly on the sides of my nose and a little bit on my chin. To further highlight just slightly, I'm gonna put a little bit of my Adra Wine Concealer on my under eye section, just on the under eyes, because I don't want anything else to be super, super brightening. Especially on the weekends, I like to keep things as less glam as possible, unless I'm obviously like going out somewhere. We might go out somewhere, we might go get some lunch or something, so at least my face will be on. And then to set all those areas in place, I'm taking my Charlotte Tilbury Flawless, Airbrush Flawless, fl Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder, and I'm just gonna set those areas. We're just gonna make sure the concealer is nice and blended. I'm gonna take whatever's left on the powder brush and just kind of go over the other areas of my face before we go into bronzer. The bronzer of choice is Park Avenue Princess from Tarte and I'm just gonna warm up my face. On the weekends, I just love doing like a quick face, if you know what I mean. I love just throwing makeup on my face. I find that most of the times when I do my makeup in a hurry, I like like it more. Does anyone else get like that? I would love to know because I feel like it happens to me all the time that I do my makeup super quick and I'm like, wow, I really like my makeup today. And sometimes when I spend so much time on my makeup, I'm like, oh, I don't actually like it as much. I'm just gonna make sure everything is nice and seamless and blended. That's one thing that I do spend a lot of time on is making sure that there's no kind of harsh lines anywhere. I'm just gonna take a little bit of Hoola bronzer from Benefit and just deepen up the areas that I like to look a little bit more bronzed. And then I can't forget the quickest nose contour of life. So I'm just doing that really, really quickly. Ah! 
for my highlight and my cheeks, I'm going to be using this Nutcracker Sweet Peach Face Compact. This for us from last year, I believe, their Christmas collection from MAC. And I love this highlighter, but I also love this blush even more. This blush is called At Dusk, and the highlight is called Tutu. And I love the combination of these together. So I'm going to pop some of that blush onto the apples of my cheeks. And again, just whacking everything on, because this is genuinely how I do my makeup on the uh, weekends. I feel like I got a little bit of highlight on my cheek, but I'm not gonna complain because it actually looks a little bit pretty. And then quickly adding some highlight. This highlight is very, very extreme. So I might need to go over it. <laughs> I forgot how pigmented this actually is. Um, so I am gonna tone it down a little bit. I'm just gonna take the brush that we used for the foundation and I'm just gonna go, go over it. And that just helps it kind of be a little bit more subtle. Time to sort my brows out which want to disappear in uh, all the foundation. So I'm just using my ABH Brow Wiz and I'm just using the spoolie end to first just comb through them and then I'm just going to outline using the product end. And because I have my brows microbladed this is really easy for me to do. I just kind of follow the line and then just add little strokes everywhere and this just kind of neatens them up. I feel like ever since I've had my brows microbladed, it saves me so much time in the morning because they're practically like all done. And especially when I'm wearing no makeup, I still feel so put together because my brows are like on, if you know what I mean. To set my brows in place, I'm gonna be using some Gimme Brow from Benefit and this is just gonna add a little bit of color and also keep all the brow hairs put because my brow hairs have a mind of their own and they love pinging out in all different directions. So this just kind of keeps them all at bay. Only a few more steps left now and I'm gonna use my favorite mascara combo for my lashes and that is the Lash Paradise followed by my False Lash Sculpt Mascara. These two together are my current favorite combo. I just feel like my lashes look so like fluttery and big and yeah, I just really love them. I don't know whether you guys have a favorite mascara of the moment or a favorite mascara combo, but if you guys do, then definitely leave it down in the comments below because I would love to check it out. I do have some mascara on my eyelids, but I'm gonna clean that up in a sec. I'm gonna move on to lips very quickly. And I've been loving these LA Girl lip liners. And this one is in the shade Natural. And what I like to do, oh my God, I forgot to put lip balm on, so I'm just gonna quickly do that. I'm gonna have to let that sit for a second because I hate putting lip liner on straight after lip balm because it just slip and slides everywhere. So I'm gonna leave that on there for a second while I tight line and maybe clean up my uh, mascara. I'm using my trusty infallible gel liner to just tight line my upper waterline. And this just looks my lash line look a lot fuller. I'm gonna clean up my lash line using a little bit of eye makeup remover and a pointy Q-tip and then just clean all the little specks of mascara up. Easy peasy. Now for the lips, I'm just gonna wipe a little bit of the lip balm off and take my natural lip liner from LA Girl. Oh, some tissue fluff on my lips. This is a really long wearing lip liner. So I line my lips and also fill them in. So it kind of acts as like a lipstick base. And then on top of that, this is gonna be a huge surprise because on weekends I love to wear something quite light and that's why I go with a bit of a gloss. And my favorite glosses of the moment have to be the Buxom glosses. This one is called Dolly and this one is called White Russian. I'm gonna go with the shade Dolly just because it's my favorite one out of their range. And I'm just gonna pop a little bit of this on. And this just adds a bit of a sheen and it kind of lightens my lips up as well because the lip liner is a little bit heavy. But this just makes it feel like I'm wearing a really nice light lip balm. Do you know what? I'm going to add a little bit of white Russian on there too. This is more of a nude shade. But because it's a lip gloss, it's not like super pigmented, but it's really nice. And it also makes your lips go tingly. So I don't know if it's like a plumping lip gloss. I really like it because it's very balmy. It's not, it's not sticky. So I really, really like the formula of that. Last but not least, I'm going to take some of the Bare Pro powder and just kind of powder a little bit of my face just to make sure everything's looking blended in and then set my face using the NYX Dewy Skin Mist. I thought I was finished but I totally forgot my perfume. I'm going to take my Velvet Rose and Oud perfume from Jo Malone. This has probably got to be the scent that I haven't been able to put down over the past few months but I'm going to spray some of this all over. And this, you guys, is the end of my weekend get ready with me. Generally, it takes me about half an hour to 40 minutes to get ready from, like, getting up in the morning, 
washing my hair, doing my hair, blow drying, straightening, all of that, makeup, everything. And yeah, I would love to know how long it takes you guys to get ready because I'm always intrigued by that because everyone takes a different amount of time. But I hope you guys liked getting ready with me in the morning. It's a bit of a different video for me, but I really enjoy doing get ready with me. It's probably like my favorite video to film ever. But yeah, this is the kind of makeup that I go for on the weekends. If you generally see me around on the weekends, my makeup is literally looking like this. No eyeshadow, lots of mascara, uh, glossy lip sometimes, sometimes matte. But recently it's been a glossy lip. And yeah, very kind of minimal fresh makeup. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please let me know what videos you would like to see next on my channel. And I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your weekend and I will see you all in my next video.